In this tutorial, you will learn how to preview code changes in your app while you are coding without having to create a new build each time. You'll only need to create a new build when you are finished with your code changes and you're ready for your code to be officially merged into your app. The way custom development works in BuddyBoss app is actually very intuitive. Our process is designed to be fast and simple and with the smallest learning curve possible. And I think you're going to really appreciate what we've built for you. The normal process to build a cross-platform app requires you to build the app in Xcode, which is a Mac-only application. This presents an immediate problem since not all of our customers are using Apple computers. So if you were using Windows or Linux, too bad, you would be out of luck and you would need to go buy a Mac. After switching from Windows to Mac, you would then need to learn Xcode, which has a really steep learning curve. What we've created is so much simpler. With BuddyBoss app, you'll be using the same tools you already use to write code for your website. A Git repo, a text editor, and the command line. And that's it. There's no need to buy a Mac or to learn Xcode. You can easily deploy your code changes from your Git repo right into your test app, and the changes will appear in your app just a few seconds later. You'll still need to learn React Native, but in terms of the development process itself, if you are an experienced developer, you will understand the entire development process by the end of this video. Before starting, it's important that you've already connected your Git repo to your app in your BuddyBoss.com account. Once you've connected your Git repo, you will be able to select which branches from your repo should be automatically merged into your release app and test app builds during the build process. We have another tutorial showing you how to configure all of this, which you can find by clicking on this view tutorial button. Note that you will only see this feature if you have purchased a plan that includes development access. I'd also recommend setting up your Git repo using the starter code from the custom code template that we've provided. This template includes a basic framework to make it easier for you to get started with writing custom code. Let's go to buddyboss.com slash resources and then to developer tutorials app development. In here, you will find a large library of tutorials showing you how to write custom code for the BuddyBoss app plugin and for the app itself. First, let's go into development environment and then we'll go to this article for setting up your Git repo. I would suggest reading this before you start. Let's click on this link here to access the custom code template. And you can see it took us to a public repo on GitHub. This repo contains the starter files. You can either clone this repo and use it as your starting point, or you can download the repo and copy the files from it into your own repo. Okay, let's get started. On the left side, we can see my desktop. And on the right side, we can see my iPhone. I already have my Git repo set up and connected with the starter files copied into it, as you can see here. This app you're looking at is called Tower which is just a Git client that I like to use. You could use source tree or your command line or any other method you're already using to manage your Git repo. The next step is we're going to deploy this code into my test app without having to create a new build. To get started, I'll open up a terminal window. If you're on Windows, you can use the command prompt or any other tool that lets you use the command line. And then I'm going to pick up my phone and shake it. And we can see we have two options. The first option is to switch the connected site between my primary and secondary sites. And the second option is to start a development session. I'll tap the second option. And we can see it is giving us instructions for what to do next. To start a new session with your custom code integrated into this app, you'll need to install and run the BuddyBoss bundler using your command line tool on your computer. And then for the first step, it says to navigate into my local Git repo directory. So back in terminal, I'll CD into my repo and press enter. And now we're in my repo directory. And I can type ls to list the files just to confirm. And we can see the files from our starter template showing that we are indeed in the repo directory. Back in our app for step two, it says to run a command to install the BuddyBoss bundler. We'll type npm install dash g BuddyBoss dash bundler and then press return. And this is installing the BuddyBoss CI tool into my repo. You'll only need to do the step the very first time when you are setting things up. Okay, that's done. And then for step three, we can now run the BuddyBoss bundler. So to do that, we can just type BuddyBoss-bundler and I'll press return. And now we'll need to enter our BuddyBoss app ID for authentication. 
The app is showing me that my app ID is 83FF8B, so I'll type that and press enter. 83FF8B. And now it's asking for my app key. To find your app key, you can go back into your WordPress dashboard and click on Buddy Boss App Connect. You can also find it in your BuddyBoss.com account area. So I'll enter my key and I'll press return. And it says, just a minute, creating a session for you. So we'll wait for a moment for the session to be created. It should take about a minute or two. And now we can see that the session is starting because the bundler status says starting. And for app connected, it says no. It will take a minute or two for the session to start. Once it starts, you'll know because you will see a QR code display in the terminal, which we will use to connect our app. Okay, so our QR code just showed up. With these instructions, scan the QR code below on your BuddyBoss test app. And then I'm going to hold my phone up to my computer screen to scan this QR code from the terminal. An app connected immediately shows as yes, and we can see the bundler status has changed to generating. The bundler is currently uploading all of the files and assets from my Git repo to our server, where it will compile them and then send the files back down to my phone. We can see the progress happening here in terminal and on my phone as well. This process will take a couple of minutes for the first time when you are just starting a new development session. But as you'll see in a moment, once the session has started, reloading the session with the latest changes from my Git repo will only take a few seconds. And now everything has been downloaded to the phone and back in terminal, we can see that the bundler status has changed to ready. In terminal, we can also see some instructions. I can type S to scan the QR code again. This is useful for previewing my custom code on multiple devices at the same time. For example, I might want to load the custom code to both an Android phone and an iPhone to test my changes on both devices at the same time. I can type R to reload the session to preview my latest code changes and I can type Q at any time to quit the session. Currently, my custom code repo is just the starter template pack, which doesn't actually contain any code that would be visible in the app. So let's add some custom code into that repo, and then we'll type R to reload it so we can see the preview working. On my phone, I can tap sign up, and we can see it's just our normal sign up screen. Now we're going to modify the sign up screen using some custom code in our Git repo. This is a tool called Sublime Text, which is just a text editor that I like to use for editing code. You can do this in any text editor or code editor that you're already using for editing your website code. In here, we can see the code from my starter template. You should add your custom code into index.js. Later on, you can always add other JS files and import them into index.js, but everything needs to start in index.js as that is the main loader file. I'm going to paste some custom code into here now. And click Save. This is React Native code. Just skimming it, you can see that it's using replace screen component to replace the signup screen. And then on the signup screen, we're adding some text that says, this is my signup screen. I'm using this code because it's very obvious for testing in the app. Now let's go back to terminal and I'll type R in terminal to reload the app with this custom code. And we can see it is uploading and downloading. And that only took a few seconds. Let's tap sign up on the phone so we can see if our code changes are showing in the app. And it worked. The sign up screen is now a custom screen with the text, this is my sign up screen. You can also reload code from within the app itself. Let me quickly change our custom code. I'll just add the word updated to the end of the text. And click save. And then I'm going to pick up the phone and shake it and then tap on reload to reload the custom code from the app. And we'll wait a moment for it to upload, generate, and then download. And it's done. Now let's tap sign up again from the app. And we can see the text has now changed to this is my signup screen updated. And as a reminder, all this time, we haven't even committed the code into our Git repo. 
we really are live previewing these changes from right within the app. I'll show you something else now. Let's say that I wanted to test these changes from my secondary site, which I'm using as a staging site. I can easily do that by picking up the phone again and shaking it, and then tapping on Switch Connected Site. And now we're in our staging site. Let's tap Sign Up. And sure enough, we're still viewing our custom code changes, but this time we're previewing the code against the data from our secondary site. So let's say I'm happy with these code changes, and now I want to include them in the app. At this point, the next step would be to commit these changes into my repo. And then push them. And then back in the website, I would create a new test app build. It's important to make sure the repo you are editing and the branch you are editing within is the same as what is configured for merging into your test app. I'll show you one more thing while we're here in my Git repo. I might want to switch branches to see code from some other branch in the test app. To do that, I can just switch my branch here in Git. So now we're loading master branch. And then I can type R again to reload the app from this new Git branch. This branch I just switched to has no custom code in it. So if this works, the signup screen should return back to normal. Okay, it's done. Now let's tap sign up. And sure enough, our custom code has been removed. And then to end the session, I can just type Q. And now the app has returned to normal. As you can see, this feature is incredibly powerful. You can write your code using the same tools you already use on the web, and you can test that code in your app in near real time without having to create a new build or even having to commit the code into your Git repo. You can switch branches and switch connected sites all from within the current development session. And once you're done, you can just commit the code and send a new build request. And in less than an hour later, you will have all of your code included into the actual app build as well.